Yes. Good morning, everyone. This is um, this is an aloe plant, and I just wanted to do a little updated um, version of that aloe video, the aloe for your face video. Um, so yes, this is an aloe plant. Um, it's been growing over the years. It has new babies coming up. This big boy over here, and I'm going to show you how I go about um, using this plant for my face and my skin and so on. So the first thing you wanna do is just get like some sort of sharp knife or whatever. And um, you just want to slice off a piece of the aloe. I wouldn't start at the top. I would just go ahead, say for instance you have an aloe plant like this, I would start at the bottom of one. Because what you can do is you can just start at the bottom and you can slice off as you need it throughout the week or so on. So I'm going to, find one I'm more than likely I think I'm going to go back here there's a big piece back here and I think I'm gonna go back there and slice that piece off I will okay. do that so this is the piece of aloe that I cut off the plant um, now if you never used aloe which would be kind of shocking but if you've never used aloe this is what it looks like when you cut it off it is it's um I wouldn't say it's super messy but it can be messy if you're not careful and it will stain um your countertop um and your clothes and so on and so forth i would say this is like very organic because it was grown in my mother's home no chemicals and so on and i can absolutely smell the difference between when i cut the plant from being like homegrown or grown in a backyard and compared to if i buy a piece of aloe leaf from the market when you smell it you can almost taste the bitterness of it so both are great but um i obviously like this one better i know where it's been grown and I know there are no chemicals to, um, let's say, mass produce it. Never. Nevertheless, this is what it looks like, and this is how you can work it. Now, you can actually, um, as you need it, you would just kind of cut a piece here, just cut it however, and then once you cut it, you slice that piece open. It's kind of difficult for me to show you, but I am gonna try. Okay, so I sliced it in half, like that, just sliced the piece off the end, this piece of aloe, what you can do is you can just put it to the side. I would leave it on some sort of a plastic, something where it's not going to stain. Not a piece of tissue, something plastic in a plastic bowl or so. And kind of leave it exposed to the air so um, it seals up at the end. Because as you can see, this part was cut and it seals up on its own. So once you cut what you need for the day, you just want to leave this out on like a plastic anywhere in your kitchen or so, bathroom or why was the yeah wherever. So next, what we're gonna do is just slice this in half, and I'll show you what I did. So as you can see, that piece that I cut off, I simply just sliced it in two. So now what you'll do is this is ready to be used. Be very careful with this though. Basically, what I'm saying is once you use when you use your aloe. Make sure you wash your hands afterwards because it's very bitter and you don't really, it's bitter, okay? So um, yeah, so now what you can do, you can just go ahead and start working with this. What I'm gonna do is, now you, in my other aloe video, you guys see that I put this on my face. So what you can do is you can take this, you can see it's super moist and juicy. So you just take this and you put it where you need it. I'm gonna put this on my face. I'm also gonna put this on some marks that I have on my back um, to help clear them up. And um, yeah, there are people who take the pulp out, take this, the outer hard skin off and take the pulp and blend it up with orange juice and drink it as a, a, a beneficial drink for your body. I tried, I cannot get it down, I just can't. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back later on today to do an updated um, version of how I put the aloe on my face and so on and so forth. Okay, enjoy the rest of your morning.